just in. A man in his early 30s has been reported missing. Simon tells me that the photos that his lost soul was leaving for work two Fridays ago at 3 a.m. I would have been told the BBC by a white man who stood in the area of town. In other news, the health of the black woman has continued to surge throughout the city. Government officials have told the public not to panic, but the cause is still unknown at this time. More on that, our correspondent, Rachel Green. reached the voicemail of James Flanagan. Sorry, I couldn't take your call. If you could just leave your name and number, I'll get back to you shortly. Hi James, it's only me. We've just been given an anonymous lead in an association with the disappearance of Simon Helsby. Following your investigation, we've seen Redwood Manor spike on our system numerous of times over the past few months. It can be squatters or backup generator, nevertheless, it's still not enough for us to take immediate action. The manor isn't listed under anyone's name. We've applied for a search warrant and can't be anywhere between three to four weeks. I want you to suspend all investigations momentarily. I need a full report on my desk by Friday with a list of suspects. I know it's a conclusion you want, but we'll be in a difficult position if we have nothing to show at the press release. I'm sorry, James, but this is what has to come into effect now. If you fail to follow this and continue pursuing the case without permission, you'll be at risk of suspension. I don't want to have to do that to you, James. Stay safe, yeah? I'll see you on Friday. Right, Bill, I just got your text. Sorry, yeah, I'm gonna have to be home later tonight. Yeah, that's fine, just wrap it in the floor and put it in the microwave. Wait, it's your parents leaving tonight? What time is that? Six? I don't know if I'll be able to make it. I, don't... I still need to talk to Miss Martin about what happened, but I think you're just gonna have to go by yourself tonight. Again. I'm sorry. Love you. Bye. of May 2018, 10pm. Simon Helsby has been missing for about 48 hours now. Still no obvious signs or leads to his exact whereabouts. But some sources have led us in the direction of Redwood Avenue by the manor that has been abandoned since 2004. I'm meeting with his immediate family and friends in the next few weeks to ask further questions. And we still have to wait upon confirmation from the IMER number. With luck with the SIM card, wasn't removed but it's unlikely.
15th of May 2018, 12am. After some digging, I've decided to bring up the case file for Ray Stevens, who also disappeared years prior. Ray had a PhD in biological science. The case was closed about two years ago due to lack of evidence. This was the last person to disappear in the same area. There was one reported sighting of rain near Redwood Manor but no photographic evidence. Although this spotting can be false, there is a correlation. Two white males in their 30s, both having white collar jobs, families to go home to, and both missing in the same area. I meet with Simon's family tomorrow, however, I feel the need to visit the manor. Just in case it's too late for Simon as well. Hello? My name is James Flanagan, I'm with the government. Just wanted to know if there's anyone in here, any squatters. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. Just gonna have to ask you to leave. 20th of May, 2018, 3am. All my findings so far have led to Simon Helsby being at Redwood Manor, or at least having had some involvement with the place prior to his disappearance. His last bank statement was processed in the area. Some 10 grand split in seven transactions. Reference number 02513. The system also revealed his phone was last opened down Redwood Avenue. This can't just be a coincidence. Something is happening right in front of our eyes. I have to investigate the manor. I fear that time is running short. And if I don't act now, there will be another Simon Held be missing. And another lost due to our indecisiveness. Hello? Project Redwood, tape 4. Animal tests have begun to show positive and progressive signs. Mutations are substantial and functioning. Tape 7. Further experiments are being carried out. Anomaly strands are being examined. Formula FC2211A1 are being filtered through protocol YU4. Tape 13, Project Redwood. We've expanded upon our tests and our live subjects are showing some positive signs of varying success. No real negative changes as of yet, however, there has been an expansion of a hormone mutation within our subject. Tape 30, Project Redwood. Something's not right. Our subject seems to be showing animalistic type symptoms and is displaying extreme traits of violence with an intent to kill. This is a negative response, I repeat, negative. Evacuate and liquidate. Who knows what this could mean? For all of us. Pull it through! Pull it through! Can, Can we get no. Walter in here? Shut up! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Hold him still! Hold him still! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Keep him tight, lad! No! Get out of the way! Keep him still! He's stunning. Real brute. Be 
careful! Be careful, don't hide! Power up! You've reached the voicemail of James Flanagan. 
Sorry, I couldn't take your call. If you could just leave your name and number, I'll get back to you shortly. Dad, I'm, I'm outside of school. Can you come pick me up if the meeting's over? I spoke to Miss Martin about it, and um, I think it's all right. Um, Benny's mum can give me a lift home. His brother's in the car. But yeah, I'm just out near the AstroTurf. Can you come come get me when, when, you, when you listen to this? Cheers. Right. See you in a bit. Bye.